It comes clear to Leyland Walker, who passes out to Devontae Blanton. Walker gets it back, steps on the sideline, out of bounds, turnover, Eastern Kentucky, 27.9 seconds left. If they get fouled one more time, they will be shooting one-on-one -on -one as well. Again, same strategy, go for the steal. And they get the turnover that they look for. Eastern Kentucky gets the turnover that they've been looking for. I think he wanted to, be, I think he wanted to get an assist because I was going to knock it down. <laughs> Moreno, deep left corner, misses off the back iron. Isaiah Kozar gets it back out to Walker, top of the key. Danny Stubbs contested. Layla Walker knocks it down. Well, as you predicted, Khalid Brooks will take it out. They get it in to DeJuan Odom. He can actually hold the ball if he wanted to. There's only eight seconds. The Panthers are shooting 49% for the game. Eastern Kentucky, though, they're in the game, only shooting 39%. Odom misses the front end of a one and one Got to be careful not to give up a three or foul here. Oh, my God! Cooper Rob hits a three, a step beyond half court from the left side to win it for the Eastern Kentucky Colonels, 62-61 as time expired. Uh, of course, the referee crew will take a look at it and make sure he got it off the time, but to be honest, I don't think there's any doubt. As a matter of fact, I was sitting over here thinking, Truck, that he took the shot way too early. Right, right. There was no doubt that he got it off, but he knocked it down. String music. Tough loss for the Georgia State Panthers. We'll confirm it. Determines that the shot is good. And Eastern Kentucky down 15 at the half. We're coming to the GSU Convocation Center and win game one of the Capital City Classic, 62-61. to 61. Well, the There's a lot to be learned here.